love this. This is so good. It's going to pop and hit me in the eye. Koreans, y'all are eating good. Y'all know what's up. What do you know about Korean food? Oh my god. I have never tried Korean food. I know that it's good. Korean, Korean fried though. chicken, oh. Korean barbecue, Korean corn dogs. I've never had any. <laughs> any of the listed ones. <laughs> Street food is perhaps the best way to learn about a new culture, and okay. today we're headed to Korea. Let's go! Let's go! I'm excited! When is the flight? Right now! <laughs> <laughs> we're the train! What? We get to eat it! We get to eat it! Korean corn dog. Okay, okay. I love corn dogs. Oh, hell yeah. I'm yes. in. I'm in. This is the corn dogs you were talking yes. about, right? Oh, a cheese oh, dog. Oh, a cheese dog. That look good. Is dinner time to Ah, eh, eh, ah, is it? Wait, is that diner or dinner? <laughs> diner? Dinner? I don't know. <gasps> oh, my oh. goodness. Wow. Did they put sugar on this? Ooh. This is about to be an, an experience and a half. Right is this here. french fries on it? Up first, we've got kamja hot dogs, otherwise known as Korean cheese dogs. This is the potato, a cheesy dog covered in crispy potato bits before being deep fried and sprinkled with sugar. You said sprinkled with sugar? How is it? Holy crap, dude, this is really good. This is heavy. Let's see. Okay. This, this is dense. Oh, good one. There's no hot dog in here though, huh? Damn. Keep going. Oh. Oh, there it is. That's so far down there. <laughs> it's gonna pop and hit me in the eye. I feel like you could do jump rope. Still going. And sauce is also nice extra flavor. It, and the sugar is surprisingly balanced as well. It's like sweet. A I little bit. spice. It's like tangy. I think it's got the heat to it. Mm-mm. Uh -huh. Okay, honestly, this is really impressive. I didn't know you could do a half cheese, half hot dog. How does it compare to like a normal corn dog that you've had? Nah, this ain't corn dog. This is fire. <laughs> okay. Oh no, give me yours. Corn dog, let me get it. This should be like readily it. available. This is great. This is a very convenient form factor. Oh, you did finally. I found it. I need to tap into the Korean culture. I hope they love them dogs. Cause I'm coming. <laughs> That's a wiener. Yeah, we feel good. Cheesy in my mouth. Oh my God, uh, pull a cheesy out. <laughs> oh, what is I this? I mean, I don't know, but I like it. I'm not even trying to pretend to pronounce that yeah, one. Yeah, I'm trying to, t Tiakabaki? That look like a type of soup. I, yeah, no clue what's happening here. Is that cheese? I got some dough. That looks good. Kimchi? No, I think it's that's cheese, is it? I is it a bamboo stock? Cheese we, with sauce. We get sauce. to play dumb. Sauce cheese. Them. What is this? Ooh, what? Whoa. Whoa. It's so interesting. I have no idea what this is. Me neither. These are spicy stir-fried rice cakes called tteokbokki and are a Korean street food snack that have been around since the late 1800s. I'm gonna take a small bite because I'm very sensitive to spiciness. But let's see. They're pretty mild. Right. It's like chewing gum. Let me try that. It's all good. There's nothing bad in here. No, it is. It's the texture that's throwing me off. And it's spice. I got, I'm getting that yeah. real kick. <laughs> These make a nice snack. These are pretty good. This one, the flavor is very spicy. It makes you hedge. Tukbokki. Tukbokki. It's not bad, yeah. Good. No, no. Right. I, I, get, I don't, this is what I can't get over. The, the, this. Little Vienna sausage looking Yeah. Thing. So it's a rice cake. It's similar to like mochi. That's, I don't like mochi. It's the texture that's throwing me off. Right. It's not a bad taste, it's just the texture that's the throwing texture's me off. Texture's kind of weird. It's good. I can appreciate the food, but it's spicy. <laughs> this one's a nice snack. I, I like this one. I mean, what do yeah. we know? What, what? Not you a know, lot. Know, so. I think we've already established <laughs> we don't know a lot. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Busan. <gasps> Extra long sushi roll. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah, it looks very sushi like. I'm going to eat this. Like a veggie. It looks like a veggie roll. I'm ready. Ooh, I love sushi. I know you don't like seafood. Chicken. I don't. Oh, wow. Well, this looks different. Oh, it smells delicious. Gimbap or kimbap. It's a Korean style sushi roll but it's seasoned with sesame versus vinegar, and they tend to use more preserved items for their fillings, like bulgogi, pickled radish, kimchi, ham, and cheese. 
This is a kimchi gimbap. Oh. So okay. there's no fish in this. Nope. I know, but it's got the seaweed. Oh, oh, mm. oh! Put it in my mouth. Mm. Oh, mm. cheers. Okay, does it smell spicy? You can go with that. Mm-hmm. I do not like it. Mmm. Mmm. If it weren't for the seaweed, I would enjoy this. We just had like, Is this spicy something. too? Yes. Just a smidge. Dang. Dude, they're all about their tang and their spice. Wait, I can feel the spiciness now. <laughs> it's something you I would snack on if I'm on my laptop. Yeah. <laughs> it's very specific. <laughs> not pineapple, it smells spicy. It's a vegetable. It's a pickled radish. Yeah. And I was like, that's, that's not that's not a good. Fruit. I like this one. I'm so busy out here getting street dogs and street tacos. Man. I'm complete I'm completely sleeping on the Korean street food market. I don't like it. Laura will love it. I think it's delicious. It's the, this is the only time I've had like a roll and enjoyed it. That's good. Yeah. Fish cake, omu, soup, kungme. Fish soup. Ah, oh, I love fish. This is, I love this. So you go up there and you just make it yourself. Man, I bet it gets freaking cold over there <laughs> and during the winter. This oh, is, green onions? This would be nice. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Onions. So do you eat a dipping or do you drink? Like you, you let it soak probably and then eat it? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's Are you a fish person? I love it. Oh, you're going to love this. I then. love it, Sharon. This is like the lambus bread of Korea. Oh, damn. Oh. Styrofoam cup for authenticity. What do you think of it? The texture's different. It Three, looks octopus to me. Two, two one. one. This is a fish cake soup called omok or odenguk, and it's a popular street snack, especially in cold weather months and to cure hangovers. Oh, this is a hangover cure? Oh, we're gonna need this for later on. <laughs> oh, for, for this weekend, try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, it smells like fish, all right. And it's actually not that fishy, right? It's Once not you... that fishy. It smells more fishy than it tastes. Mm -mm. Really? Oh my god. What exactly goes into making a fish cake? Because this is like, it's not pure meat. There's obviously like a dough here yeah. as well that goes into it. I uh, drink a little <laughs> bit of the soup. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Mm. Oh, Sharon, go for it. See, the soup's good. Soup's good. The soup, the soup very, great. very much tastes like cement. It's giving me ramen noodle. Oh, I love that soup. This one's good. It's non-spicy too, which I love. Mm -hmm. I like the soup, but yeah. this is not it. Not it. So you gotta watch fun. how I take it off. Watch how I take it off the stick though. Wow. In here. <laughs> it's like raviola fish. Yeah, savory fish sponge. I sit on my balcony and wonder how you feeling. I got me some fish that take my mind away from millions. I like this one. Wow, you love that one. I love this one because it's perfect. It Korean egg bee. bread? Korean egg oh, it's giving me oh, pizza this bites. Looks fire. What is this? Don't it like the little pizza bites? Dough, cheese, and ham. It does. So cheesy. Why does it oh, look like, like egg. egg? It's got egg in it. Oh, that's an egg? It's heavy Tense. as hell. Like, we've been eating a lot of food. Yeah, we have. And you're getting heavier and heavier on me. These are interesting. They're just like sweet with egg. There's a bit of cheese in the middle. Mm. You was, you're not scared for nothing. No, dude. Kerang Pang is a fluffy oblong shaped sweet and savory loaf of bread that's sold throughout South Korea. It's a very popular morning street snack. Fire. <laughs> it's so good. Out on the street grabbing this for breakfast. Oh my God. I feel more sad now that I know about it and haven't eaten it before. That's a big win. I wasn't expecting it to be sweet by looking at it, but like there's a perfect balance. It's a great stage of equilibrium with salt, sugar. Of sweet and salty, and I love egg. Anything with egg, I'll eat. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is so good. Travis says nothing. I do. You are finishing every day. Yeah. He eat fast. Bro. Yeah. Cat on pung. Cat on pung for the win. This one's really good. It's so good. pretty yeah. too to look at, and it's not messy. Uh, <laughs> they gonna think I'm a big kid the way I make a mess. I would go with 11 out of 10. Wow. 
The street food vendor is selling hot dog, which is one hot dog. It's like flat pancakes, which is amazing. It looks like a Korean empanada. It looks hot like dog. a pupusa. How is it? This is a Korean thing and not an American thing already. Right, like, it sounds very American. Yo, they look like little pancakes. Ooh. What is this? What? Well, you know what this is? She just showed it. <laughs> looks gorgeous. It like, does. It looks like a pancake. Ah, it tastes a little sweet. Ah. Oh, you don't like it sweet. Mm -mm. What's, what is that? Is that jam or something? Or? I don't know. It's, it's it's like a brown jelly. These are sweet stuffed pancakes called hotok. They're typically stuffed with dark brown sugar, cinnamon, nuts, and seeds. Koreans, y'all are eating good. Y'all know what's up. Sweet, but on the salty side when you smell it. This is incredible. It's really not that sweet. I can't finish it though. I don't know why I'm still eating. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer this in regular pancakes because it's not as messy of like when you put the syrup in. Figgy thing going on, really figgy. So I'm defeated. going straight to sleep when the I get only home. Way. Dude, these are dangerous. I'd eat a lot of these. Mm -hmm. I like it. Travis, you don't have to eat this. Ah! <laughs> Chat. Don't tell me what to do, Nicole. Chat, Come on. crazy. Y'all ain't never heard of the itis. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What? Red beans? Rice pudding. Meat beans. Meat beans. Oh, that's beans. that red bean stuff. Oh, they're putting in little fishes? It's a red bean fish thing. I don't remember what they call it. I think I've had this before. Is it like little fish pancakes? Is that a cookie? It's like a, it's like a waffle. I feel crap. like I've had this before. Have I had this before? You have. Yes. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Do you remember where you had this before? No. Eat in one second. That's why I don't like recognize the taste. <laughs> Whoa! These fish shaped pastry stuffed with red bean paste is called bongopang, and it's Korea's take on the Japanese treat taiyaki, which looks similar. I like this. I'm a big fan of this. Wait, I haven't tried it yet. Let's see. <laughs> this is good. My brain is checked out. I'm just eating. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> now your fish just looks like, ah. Uh -huh, now my fish looks, looks like, like a piranha. It does. <laughs> it has the same consistency as beans, but it's sweet. That is so interesting. It just beans are sweet. I mean, this okay. stuff is dangerous, man. Yeah. This is like, it's yeah. sweet, and I, it's got, it, I bet it's like, like super calorie dense. I want to just suck it out the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what you don't like. The red bean is too sweet for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I like it. <laughs> it ain't nothing wrong with sucking it out the middle. <laughs> just open it up and just... I get it. It's a good dessert. It brings good luck. Um, like, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was a pro! He's a little American! I'm very happy. I had a whole, you know, whole Korean journey today. Me too. Uh, I want to go to Korea. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of People vs. Food. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this street food episode in Korea. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. What did you think? Oh, it was pretty fun. You haven't had this before yet, right? I have not, no. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bye, guys. Oh. 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 Oh.